In this beginner shotgun video, I'm gonna show you how to properly load and unload a shotgun in a safe manner. I'm Chris Chang, History Channel's Top Shot Season 4 Champion and Professional Marksman for Bass Pro Shops. We're gonna go through each of the three platforms, a brake action, a pump action, and a semi-automatic shotgun. So first up, here is a brake action shotgun. You can see it's unloaded. And so when loading a shotgun, the first thing you wanna make sure you do is keep the shotgun pointed in a safe direction. And in our situation, a safe direction is this way. Second, turning your safety on while you're loading is also a good idea. And then third, when you grab your shotgun, make sure that your finger is off the trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up this brake action shotgun. And I've got two rounds here. One's gonna go in the top, another one in the bottom here. Gonna go ahead and close it up. And now the shotgun is loaded. Now, once I come up and I'm ready to shoot, I'm gonna turn my safety off and I'm gonna fire. Okay, now that the sh two shots have been fired, notice how my finger is now off the trigger. On a brake action shotgun, there's a lever. I'm simply gonna swing that lever over to one side. Now when I break it open, a lot of brake action shotguns are actually gonna eject the shells. So bottom line, don't be staring at the shells so you don't get hit in the face. So I'm just gonna open it up like this and see those shells eject, and now we have an open and safe condition gun. Now with a pump action shotgun, there's a few ways you can load it. I'm gonna show you how to load it with an open chamber. Now again, we're gonna have the shotgun pointed in a safe direction. My safety is on, and my finger is off the trigger since I'm not ready to shoot while I'm loading the shotgun. Go ahead and take one round, and you're simply gonna place it inside of the chamber. You don't have to push it into the, uh, into the chamber inside. You can just throw it in there and make sure it's oriented in the correct direction. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the forearm forward. Now you can see the bolt is forward, and then you can take your next round, and you're gonna put it right up there and push forward until you hear that click. I'm gonna go ahead and fire a shot. Okay, so I fired a shot, and now if I wanted to unload the shotgun, I'm gonna put it on safe, okay? And again, making sure that my finger is off the trigger, I'm just gonna rack the action back, okay? So there the spent shell came out, but remember, I have one in the tube that has now come into the chamber, and when I push it forward, I have a live round in the gun. Now in this situation, since I don't want to shoot the round, because right now, I can't pull the forearm back. On a pump action shotgun, there's gonna be a lever. And on this Mossberg 590, it's right under here. So I'm gonna lift this button here, which is gonna allow me to eject back. And then for good measure, it's good to hold down that button and just rack the action a few times. And then finally, you need to do a visual check and a tactile check to make sure that the gun is empty and also look at the empty magazine tube. Finally, let's talk about semi-automatic shotguns. Similar loading process. Remember, safe direction, safety's on, finger off the trigger. I'm gonna take one round right in the chamber. Now I'm gonna press this button here. It's gonna close. I'm gonna load my second round. Feel and hear that click. I'm gonna fire one shot. All right, safety on finger off the trigger. Now remember I have one shot left in here. It's already been chambered because that is how a semi-automatic semi shotgun works. And so to eject this round, instead of shooting, I'm just gonna simply pull back and out that round comes. Visual check, empty chamber and empty magazine tube. So now that you know how to properly load and unload a shotgun, get out to the range and practice. If you're looking for a range where you can shoot, check out wheretoshoot.org. And finally, remember that firearm safety depends on you.